YouTube fam, it's the Southern Girl Shantae LeVette and I'm coming to you today on Tutorial Tuesday. I have a project that I have been putting off for the longest and that is recovering my breakfast in the chairs. It's an easy project that you can do yourself to update your space. So, let's get started. Okay guys, here are your project stats. And the supplies you will need will be scissors, a hammer, a drill with drill bit, screws, a butter knife, a tape measure, staples, a staple gun, fabric, and a pencil or marker. Well, I've had my fabric on my chairs for about four years, and I can say that the fabric has lasted. And the reason is, is because I selected a woven fabric. You want to select the right fabrics according to use. And since, of course, the chairs are getting a lot of use, you want to make sure that you get the right fabric. The type of fabric that I selected is called a woven fabric. And what a woven fabric is, is all of the threads are woven together and the colors typically go through. They may not all show all the way through, but it lets you know that the threads have been dyed through and through. And this allows for more wear and tear and for the color to stay onto your fabric. Now this fabric, even though it's a fun fabric, is considered a screen print. And what a screen print is, is where the color is just dyed to one side and the way that you can tell this is if you flip the fabric over and it's pretty much white no color has gone through I mean this is a fabric you still could put on your chairs but if you do just know that it will not have the durability of the woven fabric say you can't find a fabric in the woven that you absolutely love and you come across the ones in the screen print what I suggest is to recover this fabric and the steps that I'm going to show you and then go over it with plastic to make sure that this fabric stays intact and this is expensive especially helpful if you have children because you know kids even adults we're always spilling stuff I hope that helps you in your fabric selection typically a chair bottom is 20 to 22 inches across at the widest point most home fabrics are 54 inches a yard of fabric is 36 inches so to create a perfect square and that's what we're trying to do you need to tack on another 18 inches with which is another half of yard which gives us 54 inches so now we have 54 inches here of course 54 inches across the bottom and 54 inches on this side you can divide that into four perfect squares of 27 inches and this is plenty of fabric to cover your chairs. Now say, well, I have more than four chairs. You just need to tack on another 27 inches per chair. So this takes us up to two and a quarter yards. Now if you have eight chairs, you would just add another 27 inches on. So a yard and a half plus a yard and a half gives us three yards. Now the exception is if you're trying to put a specific pattern or a medallion right in the center of each chair. That's when you'll probably need the person that's cutting the fabric for you to help you determine what's called a repeat so that it'll line up every time in the same spot. But typically 27 inches is plenty of fabric to um, recover your chairs. The easiest way that I have found to create your 27 inch squares is your fabric of course is 54 inches you just want to fold it in half and that's going to be our first cut kind of create a little crease and you just want to follow down that crease and remember it doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to see this edge anyway so now you have two pieces we'll just put one to the side for right now now you just want to take that half of fabric and fold it back on itself now I have more than um, 27 inches of fabric I can tell so what I'm going to do is just mark the 27 inches so that I'm not working with a huge huge square and then I'm just going to cut and now I created my perfect 27 inch square you do that for the other side as well and then now for the second half, lay one of your perfect 27 inch squares on top that you've already created. And I had a little excess. And now you can just cut all that excess off because you won't need that. And just make sure you cut this piece that was folded in half, cut along that line. And now I have my four perfect squares. 
So now you just want to remove your chair bottom. Most chairs have about four screws. Now that you have that completed, put your screws to the side. We're going to reuse this dust cover. So you want to remove all staples using a butter knife. I know mine is a little beat up, but I'm still going to reuse it. It just makes it look better on the bottom. You'll put that to the side. I'm going to remove my old fabric simply because I don't want the bulk. And that was what was underneath. Yuck. So now you want to position your fabric right where you want it. Right there looks great. Flip your cushion over. You're going to put one staple to one side and another staple on the other side. Just one staple. Let's flip it over again to make sure that our pattern is still in the right position. Now you're going to go ahead and secure it across the bottom. You're going to add maybe about three or four staples here just so your fabric doesn't slide around. You're going to go ahead and secure one side only. This will ensure that your fabric does not move around on you. One more check. Looks great. Now the side that only had the single staple, let's remove that. And now you can give it a really good tug so that it's tight. Once you've established how tight you want it, go ahead and secure that side as well. Hammer any staples if necessary. Now we can go ahead and put more staples across the bottom. But we'll leave the top undone for now. And now for the corners. We're going to create what I call the necktie. But first, you have to cut a smiley face. A smiley face helps you to prevent having a lot of bulk when you're trying to fold your corners down. You'll do that to one side. Check your fabric to make sure you still have enough. And then you're going to cut a smiley face on the other side. Now once you see that your smiley faces are in place, you'll go ahead and staple the inside down. If you have any slack, you can go ahead and give it a nice tug and then apply your staples to make sure that that area is secure. Now, to make that necktie. You're going to fold one corner, kind of like a corner you would create for a bed sheet. And then fold the other corner. And what this does is give you leverage to pull those corners nice and tight. And once you get your necktie just right, maybe just a little more tweaking, then you'll go ahead and add staples. Three should do the trick. Ah, oh, that looks great. Now you can go ahead and secure the top and pull it tight. Add you a couple of staples and you'll do those corners in the same fashion. Now I have all of my neckties. Let's go ahead and trim them off. Once you've trimmed them, let's add some more staples. Now let's reuse that dust cover. Staple it back down. Hammer any staples that might be sticking up and you're good to go. Find the holes from your previous screws using your scissors and let's reattach. Yay! And now you're done. So let's have a seat. Oh, but wait, we have more chairs to do. you can do for 2015 and always remember to like this video definitely leave a comment if you're planning on doing this project and subscribe